into the game, ahead, behind, and then back ahead. At I the mean, end. it was it was more than you could ask for. A little bit, a little bit too much for me. I'd have rather been, all been ahead, but it was just a great fight. I mean, you could just really see in every single one of our eyes that we didn't want it to be over yet, and we came away with the victory. So it was awesome. Colson had some, some injuries, and you were able to, to come in and play some a lot yeah. of good minutes. Yeah, Sid went down. Sid went down a couple times. It scared me, but. I know she, she wanted to be out there. She wouldn't have been okay with being on the bench in her last game. And um, I think she she realized she wasn't happy with how she was playing, and then she kind of turned it on and made made a great pass to, to Tyra to, to put us ahead for for the good. Talk about the team's poise. I mean, like five minutes <coughs> left, you use your last time out, and then the yeah. last few minutes was all just kind of, you know, you guys calling the plays out there. Just talk about your poise and being able to pull it out. I mean, um, honest, you have to give a lot of credit to us. We've been in... A couple of a, a lot of good, big games, especially against Baylor, and we haven't been able to get over the hump. But I think a lot of it, in my mind, you have to look at Stanford because they haven't. I mean, they had one 20-point loss to DePaul, and then their other closest game was a 10-point, or the closest win they had was a 10-point victory. So, in my mind, they hadn't been in those situations a lot. So I think um, I think we kind of took them by surprise a little bit, and I, you have to give a lot of credit to our defense and. We had a senior leader in Colson and, and Carter. Basically, she feels like a senior. She stepped up huge. So, I think we just we all we hung in there and we and we finally got it got it going in the last four minutes.